Um, good, good first victory. Uh, proud of our team, the way we played. Obviously, there's a lot of things to, to get better. You know, a lot of people say that the, you're going to get, get the most improvement from week one to week two. I hope that's the case with us because uh, I think we have a good football team. I was proud of the way uh, defense played. You know, the, the penalty in the first half extended that, that drive. It kept us on the field too long, but uh, really proud of the, 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 the defensive effort um, to overcome 0-4 turnover margin and win. Uh, says a lot about our football team and how good of a team we have to come back and, and win by 15. So proud of the effort. It's a starting point. That's one. And uh, we're excited to get back to work. You know, that's the good thing about this team. They're, they're excited. Uh, just about the opportunity in front of them and, and uh, getting one in the books and getting ready to get back to work on Monday. What do you think about Josh Allen's play? Uh, not Josh Allen, I'm sorry, A.J. Rose. It, you know, when he, when he broke off that long one in the first half, uh, it was nice watching him because you saw uh, you saw another gear in a uh, big, strong guy that can run like that, so it was, it was good to see. Mark, how much do you chalk up the turnovers to early rust or jitters just playing in the first game? It is, but you know, there, there's no excuse for that. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get on it and get it corrected. Um, you know, we had one game like that last year. You know, it seemed like you know we, we don't. You know, we're not reckless or careless with the ball. In one particular game a year ago, we're the same way. Ball was on the ground. Uh, so we'll get it, we'll get it fixed and uh, move on. You don't get a chance to win too many with a minus four. Does that say a lot about the, the defense kind of minimizing the damage? It, it does. And uh, again, I think, you know, if we are a little more aware of the situation on third and 14, um, you know, and get the targeting call, we're off the field on that drive as well. You know, that extends it, keeps our offense off the field, just momentum, the whole deal. That's, you know, we got to be aware of the, of the situation down distance and uh, what you're getting into there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, other than that long drive uh, on the defense with, Again, could have been stopped on that penalty. Um, you know, I was proud of the way they played. Or did you think your quarterback play? Uh, you know, I think early on, um, you know, I think we could do a better job of putting some, we'll put a little bit of pressure on Terry. You know, a lot of a lot of those plays are reads, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll look into that. Try to put him in a, a, a you know a situation to get him comfortable and get him started. Um, and I, I was really proud of the way Gunner came in. I just mentioned that to the team because the quarterback battles are always so public. And, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, that are young players, maybe redshirt a year ago or freshmen now, and they come in here and they're, you know, they're used to being a superstar and we have a lot of good players now. And uh, and so when they don't get their opportunity, I use that as a great example because Gunner, um, you know, when we sat in my office and we went through that, I talked about being prepared and when he gets his opportunity, show what he can do. And you know, what a moment to come in there when we're losing in, in, uh, in the first half and I think it was 55 seconds, drive us down and score a touchdown. Said an awful lot about Gunner and his character and his ability and I was really proud for him. And, uh, you know, so, you know, it was good. And Terry coming back, <coughs> settling down, uh, playing much better in the second half. Um, you know, good, good effort overall by the team. Second to last drive, uh, rather than go for about a 48 yard field goal, you went for it on fourth and eight. What was the thought process? Yeah, it would have been 49, I believe. 49 or 50. My cutoff was 48. I said that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I really didn't want to put him in the first, you know, the first, the first one uh, right at his limit. Um, I really, you know, we'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll do a better job in that situation. Uh, third down could have been a little better for us. Mark put us in a situation to kick it right there or go for you know fourth and short. Uh, so I, I really was more aggravated with the third down play. Mark, do you feel like you you made some adjustments at halftime with the offensive line? It uh, seemed to be that the uh, protection went quite good in the first yeah. half. Yeah, we, we were, you know, it's, it's like that sometimes early and, and the guys were settling in, uh, breaking in some, some new left tackles. So I thought they did a really good job on, on a team that you know, play super hard. You know, they play hard up front and come after you. Um, you know, we, we uh, you know, did a good job of protecting them at times of where we're taking our shots, how we were doing it, chipping, helping a little bit. Um, and they settled in and played much better. We're, we're at our best when we get that balance going, we get the running game going and, and uh, you know, play action and, and setting up our shots. Um, you know, I thought we, we had some good plays uh, set up and tried to attack them down the field. 
protection got to get cleaned up a little bit, but we'll, we'll start hitting those. Part Josh Allen, uh, 10 tackles, three tackles for loss, a sack. Is this kind of how you envision when he decided to come I didn't even really realize that until you just told me that. You know, I, knew, I knew he had a sack and he was playing well. Um, so uh, I didn't realize his production was that high. So that's, that's good. Always couldn't, tell during, you, couldn't tell during the game, you know. You kind of, did you kind of picture that, though, when he yeah. decided to come oh, yeah, back? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I, I think he has a chance to have a real big year. Mark, always want to give you an opportunity to comment on special teams, Clyde. Yeah. What did you think? I thought, uh, you know, it seemed pretty solid. I didn't notice anything that stood out. Um, there was some, the, the punter, their punter was spraying the ball early, and it was hard uh, to judge, and then once Booth, you know, he started making some tough catches off the bounces and just saving us those yards. Um, you know, everything else seemed pretty solid. The one kickoff return they got late, we got to look at that and see what happened there. I know we got the clip or the hold. Um, but, you know, overall, I thought we were pretty solid. I thought Max punted the ball very good. UVA seems fearless yeah. a lot of times on the punt He is. He's, he's, you know, he... He's, he's made big plays all through camp. He really did a good job on offense. Uh, made a critical play and a critical catch. Um, he's been very solid. Central Michigan only had 250 yards of offense. You, you've talked about this being your best defense yet at, in the preseason. How did they perform? Were they up to their standard today? Um, today was really, in, in the scrimmages, I mentioned it in my press conference afterwards because I could have been very frustrated after the second scrimmage, because the offense played real good, but we were out some really key guys, and uh, you know, and when you're playing with some young guys and, and trying to be as multiple as we were, getting them ready, you know, some things stuck out. So this is the best we played uh, as a unit, uh, you know, for a full game or a full scrimmage or anything to this point. And uh, you know, I felt like if we get a full strength and uh, play together, I thought I, I really liked the way we played as a unit today. Uh, you know, so. That's what I expect of them and then to improve from here. How do you think George Jones did first game back after the injury? <clears throat> didn't didn't seem like too many things jumped out at me during the game. There was one thing that uh, uh, he didn't get a check and didn't run something properly. But other than that, I thought he was pretty solid. Um, seemed to play pretty disciplined within you know his drops and, and, and run fits and all that. So uh, nothing that stood out to me until I watched it come. How would you dissect uh, Benny's play today? And then also, was he a little under the weather this morning? He was. He was. He had a, you know, he had a, a virus last night. And, uh, what did Jim tell me to call that? A viral? He had a, vir uh, he had a high temperature, a viral infection. And Jim, Jim thought he'd be up, okay overnight. Um, we were watching him and woke up and, and wasn't feeling great. And, uh, and, and so they took him to, to the hospital and gave him, a, you know, they gave him a bag of fluids and uh, checked him out, and he came back and played pretty solid. Coach, with uh, Courtney Love not being there, uh, Cash Daniels has stepped in. How much has his leadership and the fact that he sat behind Love for two years there really contributed to his leadership on the field? Yeah, I think it's a big part of it. You know, he had a great guy to watch and, and play behind. And... Uh, Cash has a lot of those characteristics, <laughs> and uh, I thought the combination of that is a big deal. And uh, you know, Cash is is uh, a guy that's hard not to root for. You know, he's a, a Kentucky guy. He cares about this program. He's passionate. You know, plays extremely hard. Very unselfish. You know, for for those years he was sitting there behind court and didn't say a word. Just what can I do to help? You know, how can I help on special teams or you know just learn his position and. And that's what I told the guys in there. The young guys got to understand that and learn that. We have a great example of some older guys that have paid their dues and, and worked on it, and, and we have uh, very good leadership on this team. So I'm excited, and we'll get the we'll get some guys in gear and, and get them going. Well, just talk about uh, Watson, Jamal Watson. Yeah, uh, Boogie, Boogie seemed like he played pretty solid again. There was a couple things. I thought the game early, I was a little agitated. Some things were out flanking us and, and our leverage on the ball. Um, you know, early in the year, we're so used to playing our offense. And, and you know, when you see somebody new and you see, see their formations and different things, I thought we were a little slow, a little lethargic at times. Um, and then we picked that up, and that, that really helped us in the second half. I think the speed of the game and just basic stuff. You know, nothing, you know, you know it could be a six-yard gain or seven-yard gain. It shouldn't have been there. 
-hmm. and uh, we started, you know, doing some things uh, better as a unit. But overall, I thought Jamar played really good. He's a good football player. Uh, you know, I expect him to play well. You know, Cash Daniels led on tackles on the defensive side. Was was there anything you're a little concerned about? On the defense, is it is it the secondary? Is it the defensive line? Or were you happy with it all around? I think it was like I like I just mentioned. I think there were some things we needed to get ironed out. That was a, a little bit agitating, you know, in the first half. But the, you know, you you talk about it. They they understood it. I think once they come to the sidelines and we talk about those things and and uh, you know we get it figured out, then you know they were better. And uh, you know, again, I think. You know, they, they were nickel and diamond us a little bit early, and, and uh, you know, the, the penalty really kind of, you know, really bugs me because you got them so backed up on the fourth and 14. So. Mark, did you consider leaving Gunner in for the entire second half, or were you always going to put Terry back in? Well, Terry was ready to play at the start of the second half, and Gunner deserved the opportunity to go back and play for what he did at the end of the first half there. And, and I'm glad. Uh, you know, in a way, I mean, obviously, we don't want anybody to get hurt, but to be forced into that situation, see the way Gunner responded and the way he played, you, you know, what says a lot about him, like I mentioned. And then to come back in the second half, and, and now you got to do the same thing with Terry. you got to get him back in and let him get, get acclimated to the game and the speed of the game and, and get some, you know, positive energy going for the, for, for the season. And, and uh, so it worked out very good. I was also to touch the first road game of the year at the Swamp, and do you think both Terry and John are ready for it? Um, it you know, it, obviously we'll, we'll worry about that next week. It's a tough environment, and uh, yeah, I, I anticipate that both guys will be ready to play. Uh, we'll see you know, where, where we're at this week and get back to work. But um, yeah, both guys will be ready to go. Are we still going to see two quarterbacks going forward? I don't know. If AJ continues to, it's a long season, if AJ can, grows, continues to develop like this, how much will that help any? I think it will help all of us, yeah. It will help our team. I think, uh, um, you know, again, there were some things. He gave up one pressure that I know of. And, and, uh, but that, that just comes from playing. He's got to play. And, and we'll let him go. You know, it's not going to be perfect. We don't expect him to be perfect. But he's got to tighten up some things. And, and do all the things necessary for us to function offensively. But I'm very proud of AJ as well because he, he you know, he's one of those guys that's is kind of matured and, and it's been not easy for him, you know, all the way through. And, and he is another great example of just kind of looking at himself and seeing what he can do better, and, and not pouting and crying and all those things. And he, and he kind of just went about his business. He took the coaching, improved himself, and you're seeing that. So I'm very proud of that. Everybody good? All right, thank you very thank much. You.